I am so happy. Tell me why you are happy. I am so happy. My track just started. My track now started. I have never been more happier. I bought this track from um, a police auction um, two weeks ago. And this truck was actually stolen. So the key cylinder was actually drilled in and that made it more challenging for me to fix this truck. The problem is what happened was that this truck will crank and crank and crank and it will never start. I bypassed uh, the ignition and it will still crank and it will never start. Um, I thought it was a problem with the uh, um, the, uh, the lock, uh, what you call a security lock system. Uh, it was, actually. And this is how I fixed it. Today, if your truck is not starting, maybe this might help you. But I'm happy today. Good luck to you too. All right. Now, what I did is that the first thing that I did was to get a brand new battery. I mean, I just got it from an auction. What's the point of keeping the old battery? I took the old battery off, got a new battery. Beautiful. And if anybody don't know how to bypass the ignition system, this is how you do it. You must have your key um, actually in the ignition and it will not start. Um, actually, mine will just crank and it will never start. So this is how you bypass it. There's gonna be two part videos, or should I say two videos in one. This right here, it's your fuse box under the hood. Um, this tells you where every single fuse is. And if you look right here with these big ones, the second one is the starter, the starter relay. Okay, I got a brand new starter relay just to make sure. This is what I did, all right? The one on the left, the pin on the left, closest to you is what you just put the um the wire on and when you put the wire on very simple just plug it back in remember the pin on the far left closest to you then you just take that and you just touch the uh, the positive on the battery with it and it's supposed to crank it up but mine will crank and crank till um I almost lost my mind because it will never start. Um, I didn't know what was wrong. I thought it was the uh, the key. So I actually got a brand new key and a brand new cylinder for $54 for this car. This is a 2007 Chevy Silverado. And I thought it was a key. Maybe this was a programming thing. I had no idea. But I was told that this truck doesn't come with programmed keys in the 2007. Um, so, this is what I did. My problem, hopefully it helps you too, was the radio. The radio was my problem. Apparently, when the radio comes on, it sends this kind of signal that interferes with your key system and it prevents, it prevents the car from starting. So, what I did was I took this panel off, which is very simple, just like that. I pry it open like that. You can use a flat head and it will just come off. It doesn't have any screws. And when it comes off, this radio has uh, two screws here and two screws there holding the radio in place. Those two screws, those four screws are actually maybe seven or eight millimeters. Did I say millimeters? <laughs> Oh, it might be or it might be wrong. I don't know. I don't care. I'm too happy today. Is there eight um, socket? And I tried and it just came off. And when the radio came off, I unplugged everything from the back. Then I left the radio unplugged. Placed my key, placed my key in into the ignition. Placed it on the, um, on the on position, as you can see. Um, my security uh, light was on, it was actually on, 
for I think 10 minutes and it went off I didn't even care about that I just since the radio was all this is the radio was out or the only thing that I was thinking about was trying this thing out and I came here just touched it and my truck started after that I didn't leave the radio out I came back and plugged the radio back in and let me show you guys when I place the radio back in it works and I was having the security lights over there it's gone engine light was on it's gone too now everything is gone this truck starts and run like a dream so i hope this one helps anybody um there is also another way to fix these kind of problems with these gm trucks there is a problem with i hope you guys will be able to see it i tried this but it wasn't my problem this right here you see this connector that there are two of them one here and one right there those connectors with age um, the ground turns to loosen up so you can either um, is the black wire if you ripped the uh, the cover around it you can just find a black wire and um, just to try it it might it might fix your problem it didn't fix my problem but it helps a lot of people so it might fix my problem um, what you have to do is that you have to just get a wire um, rip naked that wire right there the black one and when you when you get that naked you just have to just put a wire right there and find a good ground and um, wrap it around a good ground uh, I use this one right here you see this one right here just wrap it around that and try it out it might start your truck it didn't help mine my fixed itself when I unplugged the radio everything just went uh, blank and everything just reset everything including the keys this is the new keys and it just got reset it like really easy so I'm happy mine is fixed I I hope yours get fixed too there's a brand new um there's a brand new um youtube page i'll be doing this a lot because i just got into selling cars and i'm thinking of um fixing a lot a lot of cars so i'll be just posting every single thing that i figure out on this page so what you have to do is just subscribe like for more and turn on your notification button and i'll see you next time in another breakthrough video bye